class. Oh, there you go. Hello, class. Today I wanted to talk about um, six different ways to show um, three dimensions when and space when we're only dealing with a two-dimensional surface of drawing. A few of them um, are some things that you've already tried, like overlapping. You did it in week three when you set up a still life. So we're going to talk about these, and then you're going to try each one of these um, for some of your sketches, and then you'll have additional sketch on top of that, um, as you'll see in the PowerPoint. So the first one is linear perspective, and this is one point perspective here, but it could be two point as well. And this starts out bigger, closer to you, and gets smaller as it reaches the um, vanishing point in the horizon line. Then we have the overlapping, which we talked about, where one object is in front of another, and that implies that the space is deeper than it really is. Another way is to have a larger object and then a smaller object, and that's going to make it seem like that smaller object is farther away. Very similar to that, we have the placement of it on the, on the picture plane. So here I've got a sphere, and on the lower part in the foreground, and in the background, up on the horizon line, I have another one. That makes it seem like it's really far away. Then we can imply uh, the illusion of space by having objects or land that's darker, closer to us, slowly getting lighter as it moves back in space. And lastly, with detail. So if a can of my carbonated water beverage is close to me, I might be able to read the words on the front, but if it's really far back, I may not be able to see it. It must, might just be a line and some scribble. Same thing with like road signs. You know, kind of think about that. If you're really far from a road sign, you can see there's a road sign, but it takes a little bit to get closer to it to be able to really read it, what it says. So today, um, really quick, I wanted to talk about how to set up a uh, um, your horizon line, as we talked about in this um, linear perspective um, way. And there's going to be more videos later in your PowerPoint, but just to get you started thinking about that, I'm going to just a little bit above the halfway point of my paper, and I'm going to create a line straight across. I'm using an old ruler but that has numbers, but you don't need those. You can just use a straight edge if you have one, the edge of a book or um, a thick piece of paper or cardboard would do as well. So now I've made my line and now I'm going to make my vanishing point. And this is going to be the point that all of my lines go to as you saw here. This is going to start out more simple and get more difficult for you as we um, move on in the PowerPoint. So I just created one line and now I'm going to create another one because they all go to the vanishing point. It's going to create the illusion of space. So if I were making a road, my yellow line might start out bigger and slowly get smaller as it goes back to the vanishing point. You get the idea. So this would be like a road or if this were railroad tracks I might start out really small and close together down here towards the vanishing point and then they would slowly get wider bigger, the space would be greater as it moved closer to me. Alright, so make sure that you go through the entire PowerPoint. Remember that you'll have this set of sketches um, that you'll have to do for part of your sketching points, and then you will also have to create either a road or uh, railroad tracks and maybe just a few simple drawings around it uh, for the second sketch. And then for your larger drawing, you're going to be drawing a cityscape, and there will be a series of five videos, short videos, that will help you um, work on one-point perspective of a cityscape. Thank you.